So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, доброе утро, добрый день, добрый вечер. I don't know when you watch this specific lesson, we are on the free video lessons of Russian language, but I welcome you. So, repeat after me. Good morning, доброе утро, good afternoon, добрый день, good evening, добрый вечер. We are at the lesson number seven. So, we will learn the song by heart. It's very important and I will explain to you why. And we will speak about our memory. How does it function? How to um, study a language with the most efficient way? So, I try to remember the words. How to say in Russian yes? Say it yourself. A Russian word. Of course, I will help you. Okay, yes? Да. No. Нет. Thank you. Remember, what is thank you in Russian? Спасибо. Please. Пожалуйста. Hello. Здравствуйте. Goodbye. До свидания. Hi. Привет. Bye. Пока. Well, good. Do you remember how to say it? Well, хорошо. And bad, badly. Плохо. Okay, we continue. Our memory. Uh, there is a very... There are a lot of researches, but there is a very famous research. It's called Dale's Count of Experience. How do people remember? So there are different levels, uh, levels of abstractions, they call. So people remember 10% of what they read. So if you take my book, Russian in one month, and you will read it, you will remember 10%. Uh, you remember 20% of what you hear. If you will switch off uh, the screen of your computer and you will just hear my voice, you will remember only 20% of your, what you hear. You remember 30% of what you see. People in general, they remember. So that's why I'm trying to show to you the screen. You see myself. I always take in the book because you will remember 30% of what you ever saw, ever seen. Uh, 50% what you hear and see. Uh, if you hear something and you see it immediately, you will remember 50%. And if you say and write, you will remember 70%. That's why at school uh, they ask children to write and even to rewrite something from the book uh, into the copy book because when you rewriting something when you write and read and also pronounce it loud you remember 70 percent please use it in our lessons uh, when you read the book read it loud when you repeat after me repeat it loud because you will remember more and finally 90 percent of those which they say as they do the things and this is your secret uh, if you want to learn the language and you s you want to learn the words i'm going i'm working you need to work if you learn the word i'm reading you need to open and read because according to the theoretical researches uh, when you do something and you say it you will remember for example if you learn the word book книга in Russian language and you hold a book, you will remember this word better. 90% of the words that you really touch. So book, uh, computer, anything else, try to remember. There is another um, technique uh, to put stickers on everything you have at home. You have a fridge, right? How fridge is in Russian? Put a sticker. You have a window, uh, on the window a sticker. Computer on the computer. You will remember these words better. At least it's scientific suggestion and research. So it's time for reading. The word reading in Russian is чтение. чтение. So we will learn more letters and more sounds. In Russian language, uh, we do not pronounce the end sound of the word. We pronounce it in a different way. For example, this letter is gamma, g, but we pronounce at the end k. And you see, it's big, but no Russian person will say big. They will say big. You will hear k, k, 
Бяг. Let's read together. Друг, враг, Бог, долг, миг, итог. So instead of г, clear г, which we will hear in other languages, you will hear к. The same applies to д, т. If you hear, if you see at the end of Russian word the letter D, it will be pronounced like sound T. You cannot say God. No Russian will say God. Although it's written like this. They will say God. God. Let's read. Вход. Выход. Рад. Мед. Народ. Завод. I put color uh, where you need to put stress. So instead of uh, putting the stress like we do it in Greek, I will put for you color like this so you know what um, what vowel will have a stress. And the final thing, instead of b at the end you pronounce p. You don't read dub, you say dup. Dup, zup, grip, chleb, romp, arab. Crap. You can read these words yourself. They are here. It's uh, our book, the reading book. And you can read them again and again until you will remember about this simple rule. Uh, we will speak at the end of the lesson a little bit about Cyprus geography. In Russian it will be Geographia Kipra. Geography of Cyprus. Geographia Kipra. Kipr. Географические названия, geographical titles, географические названия. So this is the island, and the sea in Russian is sound Средиземноморский, Средиземное, so Mediterranean, Средиземное море, Mediterranean Sea, Средиземное море, остров Кипр, the island of Cyprus, остров Кипр. And I will read to you the names of uh, the towns, uh, the way how Russian people pronounce it. Paphos, Limassol, Larnaca, Protaras, Ayanapa, Famagusta, Nicosia. So it's soft, it's a little bit changing uh, the ending sometimes, but you can recognize all of them. There are a few words that you can read from now, even with uh, the fact that you don't know all Russian letters. I chose for you only letters you know already from Greek. Try. Flamingo. It's Ita in Russian. I -nga. Flamingo. Flamingo. You know what this. Os. Oslik. Uh, it's donkey in Russian language. Oslik. Monastir. This letter is uh, giving the softness. If you see it at the end, it's giving softness. It's monastery, but in Russian it's monastery. Monastery. And the last one. Mosaica. Mosaics. Mosaica. So, your homework. Your homework is first, to listen to our song at least once a day. Second, to watch it another time the movie, that piece which we already have in the previous lesson. And third, to remember that you need to read, to listen, to hear and put stickers everywhere in order to learn your new words in Russian language. We will continue tomorrow. And this is a course, a Russian language with Natalia Kardash. And our aim is to learn Russian within one month, within 30 days. But the lessons should be daily.